Welcome back to JSA TV Live, the live streaming news source here at Data Cloud USA. Day two here in Austin, Texas, and we grabbed Michael Donahue, the managing director of Cumulus Data, off the floor to come up and talk to us. But you guys have a lot of great things going on, so we're, we we're definitely excited to hear from you. Thanks for being here with us at JSA TV. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so happy to be here in Austin. We're based out of Houston, so it's an easy commute across, and uh, it's been a great few days. Absolutely. Well, let's get right into it. Let's talk about Cumulus Data. Excuse me for for people who just might not be familiar with you yet. Just let us know who you are and and what you do. Great. So Cumulus Data. What we're trying to do is something inventive and different than anywhere else in the U in the world. Actually, we're building a data center campus directly connected to a nuclear plant in Northeast Pennsylvania. And the, what we're trying to solve for is like is what we like to call the trilemma. And the 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 data center, center, data center industry right now is trying to solve for clean power, cheap power, and also reliable power. And when you connect to a nuclear power plant, you get that, right? It's net zero power, it's on all the time, and it's relatively cheap. So we, we find that it's just the perfect solution. How are you finding that people are, are accepting that? And I know you're working a lot with nuclear energy as well. So how is that being accepted with, um, with who you're working with and just with the broader community? For sure. So um, it's been accepted very well. It's taken a little bit of time over the past two years since we started the project to get everybody educated. But I think the idea is that as people become more and more educated with nuclear, they find that it is has to be part of the equation to get us to net zero. Um, renewables were a good start. The energy company that I work for, we're building renewables and we're, we embrace renewables, but to truly get to a net zero grid, we need to include uh, nuclear. So as we've, as we've gone out and talked to hyperscalers and enterprise customers, the more and more we educate them, the more and more they get really excited. One of the statistics that we've used from a recent UN study is that nuclear's greenhouse gas emissions over the course of its life cycle is half of that of wind. And uh, it, it, yeah, half of that of wind. And so when you think about trying to get, again, to net zero, nuclear is just a great solution to help, help the broader equation. Absolutely. And sustainability has been a really big topic of conversation here at Data Cloud USA. Um, have you taken away any good nuggets of information and things that you think you can continue to think on and use after you leave here? Yeah, for sure. Um, I think the next generation, so we have, there's, a, there's 99 reactors right now in the U.S. and there used to be more. They've shut down due to economic reasons. And I, so I think the first step is we want to try to take our idea and maybe explore other sites that we can do this. But after we explore those other sites, the next step is small modular reactors. I've heard a lot of people talking about that. And if, if nuclear is going to be part of the solution, I think that needs to be you know, included in the discussion. We need to get the regulatory agencies to help um, move that along. And you know, there's been a lot of discussion on that, and that's really um, encouraging, because I think two years ago, if you were to sit on any environmental uh, or sustainable panels, it probably would have never came up. Yeah. Very interesting. Well, I love that you guys are just looking at other ways that we can continue to build and, and make this space that we work in more green. Yeah. And I can't let you go without mentioning that you are a Greener Data fan. Hashtag Greener Data, of course, is what I'm talking about. What, um, what, what uh, drew you to that book that we have here? Of course, shameless plug for our Greener Data book available at greenerdata.net if you don't already have your copy. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, as a member of iMasons, Dean Nelson, he's, he has been really a big advocate of greener data. And I, so I came from the energy industry. And so as coming across to the energy industry, trying to you know, get up to speed on the data center industry, and what, what a better way than learning how the industry in general is trying to become greener. And it's you know, 20 different stories from 20 different people talking about how their companies are working towards sustainability. So I ended up getting, uh, I bought 20 books off of Amazon and tried to pass them out to across, you know, across our office to different people who want to get involved with the data center industry. And the feedback has been tremendous from every, everyone who's read the book. 
We are so happy to hear that. And of course, just keep following uh, hashtag greener data and greenerdata.net if you just want to learn a little bit more about that. Um, but last question before we let you get out of here, uh, just where can we go to learn more about who you guys are and what you have coming up um, as far as projects? Sure, cumulus.com. You can go online and find out more about our uh, cumulus data projects, our wind and solar projects, and our storage projects. Thank you so much for stopping by with us at JSA TV. I hope you have a fabulous rest of the conference. And thank you, as always, for tuning in to JSA TV Live. And happy networking.